Well, I think it's, it's providing another layer of safety for people who have conditions that make them prone to wandering and getting into unsafe situations for themselves and, and for others. So it's just providing another layer of protection out into the community for the people who are suffering uh, from either autism or Alzheimer's and for their families as well. If you think about families who may have uh, children with autism and who are serving our country, they're not making a lot of money. Uh, these treatments are very expensive, but they can have life transforming outcomes. So we wanted to make sure that that care can be provided uh, to the family members of persons serving in the military so that they can get the best possible care um, and ultimately allow the soldier to at least rest a little bit easier knowing that their family's being taken care of. Well, I, I, I came from the state of North Carolina with a little bit of a history and focusing on the same issue at the state level. That's why our state health plan, the largest health plan in North Carolina, now provides this treatment for uh, state employees. So we just had that common bond. It was something that she had uh, expressed an interest in the past, and uh, it's an area where we've had an opportunity to work together and produce a positive result for our soldiers. I am. I think that it would be nice to kind of get it off the table going forward and make it a part of a permanent policy, but it's nice to at least know that we have this in place today and we'll continue to advocate for it.